We're back, guys. We're back. Hey, everybody. Jacob Gilbert here. I am back better than ever. I've got some new videos coming out for you guys. Um, I, I just want to say I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that little break I had to take, but I really needed some time uh, to process and go through some things. As you know, I was in a pretty bad spot, um, and I actually did have to go and receive help for that. But enough about that, because I'm back, and I'm doing better than ever, and we're going to uh, produce some more videos for you guys. So, Alright, today I'm going to be reviewing my battle belt. Um, I've got a lot of stuff planned, and this is number one. So this battle belt I bought from um, the Army Barracks store in um, West Springfield, Massachusetts. They have a lot of good stuff. I definitely recommend checking out their store, because I got this belt and a couple of accessories uh, from that store. So... We're gonna get right into this. So starting off, I'll give you a sneak peek of like the main, the main battle belt, and this is it right here. Okay, so that's the main part. But first, we have to get into the inner belt. So the thing with battle belts is there's an inner and an outer, um, and so you, a lot of people, you know, this is a bigger one, and it's not exactly what I was looking for. But when I was at the store and I didn't see the other one, I was like, okay, this works, and I'm gonna use it. So I got this one right here. Uh, this is by Roth. Is it by Roth? Rothko. Also, don't mind the noises upstairs. It happens every video. I know. Um, some have the buckle. Then there's just a normal rigger's belt that goes through the loops. So we. So this one, you could, you really could do either if you just get a normal clip one without the molly attachments on it. Um, and I don't have one of those ones, and I'm gonna at some point, because uh, right now this is what I'm just using for now. And I've used it. I've actually used it on two ops now two of my like reconnaissance like hiking operations and it works great everything I do so we're gonna start off with the main belt part and this right here just a normal just a normal riggers belt you see them everywhere just a normal riggers belt the brand does not show on here but I'll put it right there if I, as long as I can find it this is not condor I try to go with condor it's just Condor was so expensive, and this is literally the same thing for the same amount of money. And I do love Condor. Um, I do, but anyways. <sighs> Keep it moving. Um, you guys know probably how a rigger's belt works. If not, this right here can be used for repelling and etc. Right here. You can loop this through here and attach it to here, just in case you um, want, don't want that flapping around, which I usually do. I usually cover it so it's not flapping around. So I keep this exposed. You'll see after once I put it through. But I keep that exposed because one thing this is really good for is my multi tool, which I usually keep in the lower pocket of my uh, tactical pants. Um, but in some cases I don't, and I want it right off the belt. So sometimes, and call me crazy, but this can work. You can literally just loop it right through here. There it is. Perfect. That ain't coming off, and it, it's perfect. So I do that sometimes. Anyways, this is just a normal rigger's belt. Goes through the loops, whatever. And you can see, I have used it a bit. You can see some metal start to chip. I'm trying to make it focus a little better, but you can definitely tell that it's been used a little bit right there. But that's all right. And I got this in tan to match the actual belt itself. I'm terribly sorry about the noises upstairs. But now, let's get into the actual belt. So this stuff on here, you guys have probably seen relatively a lot, except some couple newer things. Here's the belt itself. It's got two Molly um, compatible loops. Um, two on each like side here. Um, and that does that around the whole belt. And you can see this is where you put the belt through in here. Um, you can attach webbing to these, as well as I use that when I hang it up in my closet. Um, and then on the inside here, you've got some nice leather material, which I'm not sure why, but I think it's kind of for added grip. And then you've got this nice breathable material for sweat. 
etc. Um, and it is it is perfect. I love it. Um, yeah. So that's the main belt itself. Nothing too crazy. Um, and I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna put it on. I think I'm just kind of give, gonna give you guys an overview. So, anyways, let's start from this side and work our way to the left or to your right. I think so. Anyways, right here I have a 511 tactical dump pouch in black. As you can see, it's just your really it's just your classic dump pouch, except by one of the most expensive tactical gear companies in the world but it's good quality very good quality you can use this right here and you can just tighten that up um, so that's that right there that's the dump pouch you know it's empty right now nothing special about it but if you want to put a water bottle in there you know something you don't want to carry even if it's just a pencil you know usually on my plate carrier and I don't usually use my plate carrier on these ops just because I don't need to um, unless that's part of the training or part of the situation you need because there is situations, you know, we need to have our plate carriers on. But otherwise, you know, I'm I'm usually I'll use the dump pouch. But, but sometimes I'm not. Anyways, that's the dump pouch. And in here, and I'm gonna move this down so you guys can see. Um Yeah, let's just do that right now. Let's just do that right now. Alright. Hopefully that's better for you guys. So we went over the dump pouch. Next here, uh, I just have this um, black molly pouch. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I keep in here. Also, I don't have it with me. But I do keep a small bag of gum. Just gum. Straight up gum. Nothing special about it. I don't have a lot in here right now. I usually do carry multiple things. But I'm not packed for not. So right here we have a butane lighter. Pen. Very nice. This has been featured on the channel if you go way back. <laughs> right here, I keep an LED headlamp. All sorts of modes on it. There, I don't think there's a red mode on here, unfortunately, but that's fine. Um, and also, when you light it up. Actually, you can have the normal light on with this red option here, which is good for my purposes. Or you can even have it without without this front light even being on, which I love. So anyways, that's all that's in this pouch right now. Like I said, I usually carry gum in there. Sometimes I put my multi-tool in there, but that's that's honestly pretty rare that I do that. But sometimes, sometimes I do. So now moving over here, you guys have seen this plenty of times and in all sorts of different places. Right here I put my Falcon Meditac um, Mini IFAC right here. This is perfect because once this belt is on me, I have my hand literally right on the tourniquet, which isn't always the first thing I'm going to go for, but it's the main thing I'm going to go for. Blue Force gear is something I'd like to put on here, but for now this works absolutely perfect. Moving over here, we have the little SOG uh, fixed blade knife, and you're probably wondering why didn't I put the Gerber strong, on, uh, strong arm on here? Um, well, actually, I did. Um... And it sucked having it on here because I kept getting jabbed with the um, handle piece. So I put that somewhere else. But anyways, I have this looped under this here um, molly strap because if I have it exposed, it falls out so easy. And I can pull this right out without it actually making contact with the side and cutting the molly strip. And I can do the same while placing it back in because like... I don't really feel like uh, cutting a molly strip, so there you go. Um, now moving over here, I have uh, this little um, carabiner, it's very small, and I use this, you can use this for anything really, but right now I'm using it for my uh, mechanics tactical gloves, they're here which I use these and I'm going to get new ones at some point with the adjustment strap right now, the, these are the mechanics wear fast fit gloves, and you see these almost everywhere, you know. Yeah, that's, you know. So. And there is certain operations where I'm going to wear just a rigger's belt, not this. Uh, for longer operations, I'm probably going to use this. Um, sometimes it's the other way around, but 
I'm usually going to be using this almost every operation. So, just to give you a hint, it's quite useful. But, this being said, guys, I hope you enjoy this comeback of mine with this sweet belt. And I hope you enjoyed the belt itself. Give me some tips. Share your belt with me. Follow my Instagram. I'll put it in the description since it's new. Um, new, different account. So, but Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.